Hey guys, welcome back. Just me and Rudd's hanging out here. <laughs> Rudd seems pretty committed to hanging out for a while. It's a big yawn. Yeah, it's okay. Actually, it's not shaking that much. Wow. Good job. Mm, yes, I do. One of the ones that's plugged in, I suppose. Beggy's bringing me some... Some espresso and a new controller. I'm walking very gently. I am for Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Like cat food. All right, get out of here. Get on now. Okay. Radiger's my co-host today. Hey. Oh, he's gonna leave now. He's gonna follow Becky. Now it's shaking. <laughs> he coming. He's coming. <laughs> Take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. I guess I can move forward a little bit here. In the water? In what water? <laughs> Just playing with it? Rediger's playing with his water. There's a little bit of spoilers going on in the chat. Just found out you can run into the guy who gets bit by a snake again and he can ask you to suck out the venom again. That would have been funny if I had done it on the show by myself and found out I would have probably laughed out loud quite well and you just spoiled it. Why? And this is the why I wish that I am able to play games immediately as soon as they're released all the way through without anybody ahead of time. Because everybody just wants to come in and just like tell me everything as fast as they can. Like, can't just let me play it. Stay 
<laughs> I was wondering what would happen if I jumped the gun. Wow, the auto aim's a little bit annoying. It there was a guy walking right in front of me, and then it auto locked onto the guy in the water tower. Does he interrupt drinking health potions if he gets shot? He does, it interrupts him. I didn't know that. It's good to know. Whoa. I had no idea until, like I've played a good 15 hours of this game and didn't know you could be interrupted while drinking. Wow, the snapping is bad. Are you seeing that? I keep on looking up at this guy and it kept snapping down. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know it was that bad. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna concentrate on the guys on the ground, shit. Did you see that? I looked right up at him and then pressed L2 and it went, kept on like yanking it down. I guess I'm, it's in the options, right, that I can change that, I think, because that's bad. I don't remember encountering them, this is my first playthrough. Uh, settings. I think you can go in and like... The best enemy. Narrow will and wide will always try to lock on to the best enemy. 
What does that mean? I'm gonna go narrow, because that wide was not working. That was bad. I guess narrow for both. What are we doing, dude? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You wanna take the lead? You go. You'll see. What the hell are you doing? Ah, oh, man. Narrow is too narrow. Go back to wide and I guess just deal with... Because I like to play it freewheeling and like really fast. Like I don't want to have to spend time like looking down my sights and making little modifications. I like playing it kind of like a Rambo type guy. I guess I'll just deal with the weird wide lock on. Well, Lord, the thing is that goes against exactly what I just saw because I was looking up at that guy and then it snapped on the guy that was lower than him. And it was right after Dutch had mentioned the guy in the tower. Jesus! I say we go! 
Oh, they give you a Jedi at this point? I didn't know you had it. Or I would have been using it. Oh, they just gave me the... Why are some of the items yellow when you pick them up? Like the horse stimulant was yellow. And there's the horse medicine. Is it only horse related stuff or? stuff that makes cores yellow. I think fortification of cores just makes them, like it's even better than having a full core. Like my guess would be that it's like having a full core with like a bonus of 50 to 100% on its effects on your health. Like so it would refill your health even faster, I think. That's my guess. But I'm doing this Dutch. I also gotta test something here. The Japanese version. There we go. So in the version that we were playing, we tested to see whether the Japanese version was censored by shooting some limbs and they did come off, but then they don't they don't sit on the ground afterwards like that. It's kind of silly looking, but um, it becomes like roasted meat. Uh, they do blow off, but then they don't sit. Like they don't fly off. Like they just kind of disappear from the corpse. 
And that's why we were confused. We thought it wasn't censored, but it still was. Yeah, the torso also wasn't a full-blown dismembered torso. This feels different from the last time I played. I thought on the last time that I, while I was looting, the other guys were looting still too. And I was like having to like rush to get my share. on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us. And I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you ain't get cold. This head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are oh. before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Sorry, horse. But I'm an evil man. You're coming with me. Come 
Holy shit, Fraser. Funny you can't actually hit them like you can some of your uh, Please, I'll do anything. I don't know prisoners. Real about them, honest. They don't tell me nothing. I swear. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. The game, the plays, itself. Welcome to my Let's Play. Give me money. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Delivery. I think kitties are getting some food. Some expensive ass food. Shit. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Okay, I guess. Ooh, 
sorry. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Okay, then. Oh, excuse me. Guess that worked out. The old Driscoll's. Now we just have to rob this train to get out of here. Yeah. Them wagons are still snowed in. So, how you feeling about this train? I mean, you gotta do something. Yeah, but <laughs> that's more than something. Well, try to stay strong. Okay, Arthur. Hmm. Having fun in here, Lenny? More since we robbed you. Lenny! <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out of here. Lenny, what'd you get off to, Lenny? Anyway, try not to worry. Lenny! Lenny. Why? That poor woman's husband needs burying. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. Understood. All right. Good call, Dutch. It's the least we can do for the poor woman. I say Mikey should do it, but that ain't a good idea. The body's in a wagon out front of the house. I'll send someone. Thanks, Jose. Well, just hang in there. All right, Arthur. Are you giving the kitties their food? How are you doing, Molly? So now you're robbing a train. How is that gonna help us? I'd speak to Dutch about that. Well, try to stay strong. Okay, Arthur. It's weird not being able to antagonize people in this part of the game. Going around being encouraging Arthur. Well, stay strong. Stay strong, I guess. <laughs> you just gotta look on the bright side. You know, you got talents. I like your drawings. Your smile brightens up a room. So you really think we can rob this train? All the groundwork's been done. I'm struggling to see how we can. Okay, whatever you think's the right move. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> Just the, the go around, try to stay warm. Well, <clears throat> try to stay warm. Lenny, you warm, Lenny? Blue Deadpool, I have yet to insult Marston that much because I haven't gotten to interact with him. Any problems, you shout out, Lenny. Hey. <laughs> How are you holding up? Okay, I guess. Good. Okay. Oh, this is great attention to detail right there.
you're safe now. Yeah, I never did any of this. Okay, Mr. Straff. I think so. Well done for finding Mr. Marston. Some good news at least. Yep. Well, just hang in there. Yes, I suppose. It's been a nasty few days. I know. And we've had tough times before. We can't Vic, can I have one of those meat buns? Same as always. All of you. You okay, Abigail? Ain't that so, Mr. Yeah. Morgan? I don't know if she's around anymore. It's dealt with. For now, anyway. Oh. I want a meat bun. We have to eat those meat buns. Well, try to stay strong. What a mess this all is. <sighs> you doing okay now? I think so. Thank you. Of course. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Good enough. <laughs> He that is so All quiet here while we were gone? I think so. Slept for most of it. Typical. Well, just hang in there. Yeah. Just want to get out of here. That shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Just need some thoughts so we can get those wagons out. I know. We'll be okay. Well, try to stay strong. All right, then. Is it he that sits You've been happier now, Jack? Of the earth and Will the be okay? Yeah, I think so. Just needs to rest. Out to the heavens as a anyway, try not to worry. Okay. Wait a minute. Now Jack's going to die of hypothermia. <laughs> Didn't tell him to stay warm. You know how these the things go. We've been through bad times before. Yep. Well, just hang in there. Aha, uh -huh, Hunter. Shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth, and he shall also blow upon just them, okay. and they shall wither, and I'll the whirlwind shall take them away. Oh, woman. Been through a lot. Well, try to stay strong. To whom then sure. Will you like in me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? We should have a little Lift food. Your eyes if you're hungry, eye. Mrs. Abbott. And behold, who hath I, created these I things hungry. that bring them okay, to the host by huh? number and call of them all? You just by ask Mary Beth here. By the greatness of his might, anyway, for that he try not to work. In power, not I don't thing. care. What well, dry as day warm. <laughs> And speaketh, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from God. Why are you making that racket? Making all that noise, making me dumplings. Too much noise, making my no dumplings. All right. Try to stay strong. <clears throat> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Is there anything bef else I can do in this camp? What is it, Arthur? We're okay. Ah, well, I'm gonna do this mission. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, the government agents are hunting you down. Sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. 
We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. There. Here. You need something to eat out there. Assorted, salted, off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go, Hart. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come on. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. But people hunt with guns all the time. Does it really scare animals off? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, I'm sure I hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll. Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. That's a good call, Justinitis. I'm gonna do that. A few days, all right. That right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. It's just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but. You sure are good. People hunt bears with a crossbow? That sounds like the stupidest idea I've ever heard. And that sounds really horrible for the animal. How many shots would that take? You'd have to bleed it out, like, slowly. Unless you got lucky as fuck. There was the dead horse, <laughs> it was still there. Wow. The horse There's from the guy that I... Grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. The wind's died down, too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. In terms of whether I would hunt, I don't know. Hey, stop here I have enough things to do in my life, I think, something. without needing to take up another hobby like that. Fishing's more my forte. But if I were to, it would have to be, like, you know, done in a way that gives the least amount of stress to the animal. How can you tell? Stay low and move slowly. I think so. Nah, focus. Don't run. I hear you coming, Mark. So I can't change to a different gun right now.
buddy. It's easier in the snow, but... You gonna come in here, pal? Wait, look. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Quick. Before they move. Man, it takes a while to recover from holding the arrow too long. <whistles> Fuck me. Oh, it's, a, it's attached to your stamina. I get it. Gotta get my arms. They're fat anyways. <laughs> the can is just rolling down the hill. <laughs> it's rolling on the snow. Alright. Man, hunting is slow. Hunt another one. Um, no, I'm good. Thank you. I got a meat bun. Ah. I told you it was hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Yeah. Where'd the fucking trail go?
feel bad. I got it in the butt instead of the head. Oh. Oh my god. That would just make me feel horrible if I hunted and that happened. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. That's why I would have a tough time hunting. If I missed, I'd just feel horrible. That's a tasty bun. So here's the thing about hunting now. I like meat. Okay, boy. But I'm trying I'm trying to give it up. Or at least I'm trying to stop eating meat to a very large degree, like if not completely give it up, just reduce it in a huge amount by a huge, like, margin. Mainly because just, like, the way animals are raised and how it's hard to, like, find a source in which you know that they're raised really nicely. And also, the effects of factory farming on the environment and shit. So when you put all that in it, it's funny because I used to almost be, like, Considering giving up meat for those reasons almost makes me think hunting's better. The animals get to live normal lives until the moment where you kill them. You're earning your, your food, right? Your dad? He's weak, but that makes him your dad donates useful. game Maybe to shelters? What sort of a shelter, shelter is, is able to deal with game? Going down with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big game. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. Proper blood feud. So I heard. Okay, he takes it to the butcher first. Because I was about to say. Watch out. Like, 
a shelter. Let's see if we can find another way around. <laughs> you could just show up to a shelter and you give them a carcass. Well, good luck. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Yeah, a bear awake in the middle of, oh, it's not the middle of winter, it's May, because this is a freak storm, right? Yeah, good boy. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that? But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this? Black water mess? Being up here? Ah, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just know you can run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Uh, careful. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well... We need you now. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Huh? 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. You taught me to read. John, too. You taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. A lot of these early missions are pretty difficult to play um, right. in multiple playthroughs if you're... I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Up me faster than a bull. Won't take me. I need to eat more. Nobody but him. I tried to ride the cow once. Ah, eating will let you repeat stuff. I tried to ride the cow <laughs> once. I didn't know that happened. Up me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Um, I don't have any food left. Shit, man. I'm gonna hitch time over here. I wish he kept smoking for a while. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Surprise! 
Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. Right. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town, if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, uh, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Suppose I should take a bit of a break here, make some money by running some ads. <laughs> Fucking love this setup, man. This is the show from now on. <laughs> what do you guys think? I love it. It's like how many, it's so unique to this show. Like how many shows do you see where somebody's laying around like this? Where like you're in somebody's living room and they're just like playing a game like. Like hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my show. Welcome to fucking, welcome to my house. Grab a beer. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm just gonna get a stretch.